My name is Vince Riccio. I'm a technical marketing manager here at VMware focused on automation. And today in this video, I'm going to discuss our integration with VRealize Automation in Ansible Tower. VRealize Automation allows you to integrate in with your Ansible Tower instance to deploy job templates from Ansible Tower. We've had Ansible open source integration for some time that allows you to run playbooks against nodes that get deployed through our system. So for instance, if you deploy a virtual machine through VRealize Automation, we've, had, we've allowed our users to be able to integrate it with Ansible Open Source to deploy playbooks onto that machine during the time of the deployment, providing a nice configuration management option for them during deployment. Recently, we've added the ability to integrate it with Ansible Tower. So this gives our customers even more flexibility and allows them to choose between using Tower and then open source for their playbook options and ultimately their job template options as well with, with Tower. So what you're looking at here on the screen is the Virilize Automation Blueprint Canvas. This is where we build our infrastructure using YAML code. And it gives us an infrastructure as code methodology to deploy virtual machines across clouds. In this particular instance, what I'm going to show you is the Ansible Tower integration. So if you look on the left-hand side, we can see under Configuration Management, I have the option for Ansible Open Source, Ansible Tower, and then Puppet. The integration with Ansible Tower is actually quite simple. Essentially, there's an integration section in the product. You click on the Ansible Tower tile, and you give it the host uh, IP address or FQDN and then the credentials to log in and that's really about all you need because essentially the inventory files and the job templates and uh, other constructs within tower will tell the system what to do once we initiate the job template on the right hand side you'll see the yaml code that's reflective of what we see on the canvas so before I dragged and dropped an Ansible Tower object onto the canvas, and now I can see the code related to that Ansible Tower system. The host machine here is the one that I have this line to, which is my Ansible node. Currently there's only one virtual machine on the canvas, so we're just gonna run our job template ultimately against that particular node that gets deployed. The account is the Ansible account that I've created in the system when I did my integration and then my job templates. So in this particular case, I'm allowing the user to choose between two job templates. And this will be an input and a dropdown, which you'll see during the deployment. We can also pass host variables as well to Tower. So these host variables are used for additional configurations um, or could set how the host is going to be um, you know, accessed or uh, certain other configurations that Ansible might want to uh, use. And then below that is the node. Essentially, this is the machine that's going to get deployed and ultimately the playbook from the template will get run on. Let's go ahead and do the deployment. Set deployment, we'll just call this my Ansible or node. And then my blueprint version that I have there. So remember before when I said there would be a drop down, here's where I can pick my job templates. So in this case, I'll just do a Linux update for the sake of time. And we'll hit deploy. So now it's gonna go through and deploy this machine for me and run my job template against that machine. Okay, so the Ansible Tower node deployment is complete. So what we're looking at is the deployment canvas. This is what we can see after the deployment is done. And if I click on the Ansible object that was on the deployment canvas, I can get some information about it after the deployment, like what job template was ran. And then also the host variables uh, that got passed, if you recall that from the blueprint, we were passing some host variables and they'll show up here as well as custom properties. And then in the history section, we'll basically just see the timeline and historical uh, events that have occurred during the deployment so we will be able to see that the virtual machine was deployed and then the tower 
I was successfully able to uh, deploy the job template and ultimately the playbook onto the node. So let's take a look at my tower instance real quick. So here is the uh, job template that ran that was called Linux Update. I want to click on it and I can see that my playbook uh, ran successfully. And we get a little bit of information obviously about uh, that deployment. The other thing that I can do is go check to see if my host variable uh, actually made it into the, uh, the machine as well. And so let's just check uh, this machine. And then we can see that that host variable that we passed uh, from the, the blueprint did make it into tower as well. So that was a uh, brief video on the integration with Ansible Tower. Thanks for watching. Thank you.